Popularly known as the world's best momager, Chris has become one of the world's most successful women in the world. The matriarch, who's in her 50s, is a businesswoman, a TV producer, a writer, and a socialite. But Chris wasn't always this accomplished and stinkingly rich. This might be hard to believe, but Chris was once a poor, struggling woman who had to put in a lot of effort to become the star she is today. She now successfully leads the Kardashian-Jenner dynasty and has brought up six equally successful children who are dominating almost every part of the world. Curious to know how it all started? Let's go ahead and figure it out and take a look at the story of Kris Jenner. Hey, I'm Kat. Welcome back to Rumor Has It. Kristen Mary Jenner, famously known as Kris Jenner, was born and bred in San Diego, California. She's the eldest of two children to her parents Mary Jo Shannon, who owned a clothing store for children, and Robert Houghton, who was an engineer. Chris's mom would later get married to Harry Shannon after her divorce from Robert. This marriage would bring about the birth of Chris's half-brother, Stephen Shannon. Chris attended Claremont High School and graduated in 1973. At the age of 19, Chris lost her biological father, Robert, in a car accident. She also began hustling while she was in her teenage years. Reports showed that Chris was initially a sales girl at a donut shop before she began working at her mom's clothing store. In an interview with Beyond Candid with Juliana, Chris mentioned that she learned so much from working at the clothing store, especially how to run a business. During this period, Chris was already seeing Robert Kardashian, who became her first husband. Robert and Chris first met in 1973 at a horse race event. At the time, she was just 17 years old and dating Mexican pro golfer Cesar Sanudo, while Robert was 28. Robert fell in love with Chris at first sight and began to pursue her but she turned him down as she was still dating Caesar. At some point, Chris's boyfriend was mostly far away, which got pretty tiring for her. The day Chris took Robert to her and Caesar's home was when the entire thing blew up. Caesar came home and found the duo, and according to Chris, things were not pretty. That was the end of Chris's relationship with Caesar, but the beginning of her and Robert's. It was clear who loved the other more when Robert proposed the reality TV star twice but got rejected. At the time, Robert was a high-profile lawyer, and Chris just started her job as a flight attendant at American Airlines. Chris wanted to tour the world and wasn't ready for marriage. Chris's main reason for getting a job as a flight attendant was so that she could make lots of money and reach high places. At the time, she was only 20 and struggling to make ends meet. Rob, on the other hand, was in his 30s. Two years later, however, Chris accepted Rob's marriage proposal, and the couple got married in 1978. Thereafter, they moved to Beverly Hills to start a family. Chris mentioned during an interview with Objectified that she was on top of the world during that period. She claimed that she enjoyed her early married life, saying, I had the happiest life you could have dreamt about. But when you're in something, sometimes people think the grass is always greener, and that was like what I think I went through at some point. The pair had an interesting marriage and had four children together, namely Courtney Kimberly, who's also known as Kim, Chloe, and Rob Kardashian. At their Beverly Hills home, the family spent their weekends hanging out with their friends, O.J. Simpsons and his wife, who was also Chris's best friend, Nicole Brown Simpson. When Nicole was murdered in June 1994, Chris was devastated, and even now still misses Nicole. The prime suspect, O.J., was put on trial but wasn't convicted, but Chris openly believed that he was behind her friend's murder, and she felt heartbroken when she realized that her would-be ex-husband was on the team defending O.J. in court. Chris and Robert got divorced in March 1991, after Chris had an affair with a soccer star, Todd Waterman. In her 2011 memoir titled Chris Jenner and All Things Kardashian, Chris described the affair as entirely sexual. Robert found out and canceled all of Chris's credit cards. Their separation caused Chris to alienate herself from her friends and the public. According to the celebrity star, the affair became the biggest regret of her life. Chris was left single, broke, and with four children. This period was extremely defining for her, as the future momager decided that she had to grow up. She, however, did maintain a cordial relationship with Robert. Things became harder in the Kardashians' family when Chris's ex-husband Robert was diagnosed with esophageal cancer in July 2003. Barely a couple of months later, the lawyer died from the illness at age 59. Chris explained during a panel session at the Nazarian Institute's Think Big 2020 conference that Robert's death left a huge impact on their family, especially on her son Rob. I don't think he has still gotten over it, Chris said at the time. You just don't get over something like that. You think you move on and heal and obviously life goes on, but it's still something that's really difficult to do. 
Chris got married to Bruce Jenner, now Caitlyn Jenner, the same year she and Robert got divorced, and things changed completely for her. She first gave birth to two more children, Kendall, who she named Kendall Nicole Jenner, in Nicole's memory, and Kyle. She started managing Caitlyn, who was appearing in commercials for an exercise equipment brand at the time. That was how Chris developed an interest in TV. In 2007, she met Ryan Seacrest with a proposal to start a reality TV show based on her family. She told the New York Magazine, everybody thinks that they could create a bunch of drama in their lives, but it's something that I felt I didn't even have to think about. It'd be natural. During that period, Ryan owned a production company and agreed to partner with Chris in bringing her idea to life. Ryan felt that they could create something as successful as The Osbournes, which was a show similar to what Chris wanted to do. I had seen The Osbournes and thought to myself, because I had formed a production company, I thought we should find something in this vein, he said to Access in 2013. Ryan and his team got to work and filmed the family during a Sunday barbecue hangout. The way the family was so at ease and looked natural made Ryan want to pitch the idea to E. Just like that, the moment became the birth of the family's reality TV show called Keeping Up With The Kardashians. The show began airing on E! and Chris was acting as the show's executive producer. It was a show that mainly focused on the professional and personal life of the Kardashian-Jenner family. This show did extremely well that it became one of the longest running reality TV shows in the country. The final season aired in 2021 and several spin-offs including Courtney and Chloe Take Miami, Courtney and Kim Take New York, Chloe and Lamar, Rob and China, and Life of Kylie were created. A new show on the family titled The Kardashians recently premiered on Hulu in April 2022, after which seasons 2 and 3 aired in September 2022 and May 2023, respectively. All of this is being handled by Chris, who became the matriarch of the Kardashian-Jenner dynasty. Many people called her the best momager in the world. She was managing all of her kids' businesses, including that of her stepchildren, Bert, Casey, Brandon, and Brody, while also being a mom at the same time. The only thing was her marriage with Bruce Jenner didn't end up doing great. Chris, and at the time of the situation, Bruce Jenner announced their separation in October 2013, and by September 2014, Chris filed for divorce. The divorce was finalized on the 23rd of March 2015, and the couple's 22-year marriage came to an end. While speaking on the whole situation, Chris stated that the whole divorce was the most passive-aggressive thing she'd ever witnessed. She also mentioned that while she was aware of Caitlyn's use of hormones in the 1980s, there wasn't a gender issue. Nobody mentioned a gender issue. According to Chris, that period was tough on her, and she wished Robert was alive to help her through those times. Despite their divorce, Caitlyn still featured in some episodes of Keeping Up with the Kardashians, and Chris also appeared a few times on Caitlyn's reality series called I Am Kate. Chris has come a long way, and she's still thriving and ensuring all of her children are too. She now runs her production company, Jenner Communications. She had also engaged in various businesses with her children. She once opened a children's boutique named Smooch alongside her daughter Courtney before closing down after six years in business. In 2020, Chris launched a perfume collab with her daughter Kim, which they named KKWX Chris. She has also successfully assisted Kylie with her makeup line, Kylie Cosmetics, which has gathered a whopping 420 hundred million in sales since 2015. Sticking to the entertainment industry, Chris has also been featured in three music videos. Her recent one was in the song Mother by Megan Trainer. She's also a supporter of many charities, including the American Red Cross and Children's Hospital Los Angeles, among many others. Well, that's all for today. What are your thoughts on the life of the momager and successful businesswoman Kris Jenner? Let us know in the comment section down below. We love reading your thoughts. And if by now you haven't, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with the latest content as soon as it's uploaded. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again in another video.